Hello guys, in this video I'll show you, 5 epic masking effects in Premiere Pro. The first one is a simple title animation. So let's see how to do this title animation. First make a new color mat. And here I'm using white color for the bottom line. Add the color mat in the timeline. Then select the color mate, and move over to the effect controls. Then uncheck the uniform scale. Here I'm using the line height 2.5. Set the line width around 60. Also you can change the line position. Then move 10 frames to the right side. Make a keyframe on the scale width. Move to the first frame, and set the scale width 0. Make the last keyframe ease in, so it will make the animation more smooth. Now let's add the text. Select the type tool, and type your text to the program window. Then select the move tool, and adjust the text position. Move the text layer beginning of the timeline. Then under the opacity, click on the rectangle icon. Then select the right two points. Click on the bottom point, hold on shift, and drag it to the right side. Again do the same thing for the left two points. Then move the mask at the bottom line, until the text line disappears. Then enable inverted. And use the mask feather 20. Move the time indicator to the first frame, then move 10 frames to the right side. And make a keyframe on the position, and increase the position Y value, until the text line disappears. Again move 10 frames to the right, and decrease the position Y value to the previous position. Then ease in the last keyframe, to make it smooth. And that's it for the in point. Now let's make the out point. I want to close this title in 3 seconds. So move the time indicator in 3 seconds, and make another keyframe on the position. Then move 10 frames to the right, then increase the position Y value, until the text line completely disappears. Then select the bottom layer, and make a keyframe on the scale width. Again move 10 frames to the right. Then set the scale width 0. And that's it for the text reveal. The second one is cinematic text reveal. Now let's see how to do that. So first import your footage to the timeline. Then select the type tool. And type your text line to the program window. Then move over to the essential graphics tab. For the top line, I'm using the Grand Hotel font. And increasing the font size 160. And for the bottom line, I'm using Uni Sans Light font. And the font size is around 80. Now let's make it center by using the Align tool. And decrease the leading minus 20%. Let's down the position a little bit. Okay, it's perfect for me. Now adjust the text layer duration with your footage. Now select your footage, and duplicate it to the top layer. Then select the top layer, and move to the effect controls. Under the opacity, select the pen tool. And draw a shape, where you want to mask your text line. Now select the text layer, and move the text position to the bottom, until it's completely disappeared. Then make a keyframe on the position, and move the time indicator around 6 seconds. Now move the text position to the top. And make the last keyframe easy in. And that's it. Also you can change the blending mode, normal to overly, so it will look more smooth. The third one is Sky Replacement.
So first add your footage to the timeline. I'm going to use this clip. Duplicate this clip one track above. Hold on Alt button and drag it. Then add your sky footage between these two layers. Now move over to the effects tab and search for the color key. Apply this effect to the top layer. Then go to the effect controls tab. And under the color key effects, click on the color picker. Now choose your sky color. Then increase the color tolerance until your original sky completely disappears. Then you'll see the bottom sky. And here as you can see the watercolor is removed a little bit. So select the sky layer. Under the opacity, select the pen tool. And draw a mask shape around your sky. And that's it. Let's see a quick preview. Now I'm going to apply a color preset, so it'll look more natural. First nest at all layers. And here I'm using a red giant preset. The fourth one is hide face identity. So in this clip, we need to hide her face. First move to the effects tab and search for Gaussian blur. Apply this effect to this clip. Now move to the effect controls, then increase the blurriness around 50 and move to the first frame, then create an ellipse mask under the Gaussian blur effect. Now adjust the mask with her face. Then use the mask path auto tracking tool. So it'll automatically track her face in the whole video. And the last one is walk transition. Now let's see how to do that. So this is my walking footage. It's perfect for this effect. And we are going to create mask with this legs. So you can see, here's the first frame, there's some space on the left of this object. That is beginning to move through the camera and block it. So click on the clip. Go to the effect controls panel. Click on the opacity drop down icon and then grab our pen tool to create a mask. Now we are going to create mask here. And if you want more space, double click on program menu. And it will bring up full screen. Being clicking and plotting out your points. And trace through a pretty close line of this object. Also you can click and drag to create curves. And then hold on alt button. Pull the tail of that curve back into alignment and then connect it to make a shape. So get it pretty accurate line. Double click on program menu. Go back to effect controls panel and select inverted. Now as we can see we have a transparency that's beginning to happen. Then click on stopwatch icon for mask path, mask feather, mask opacity and mask expansion. So now you can change the mask value from frame to frame. Then click on this button, which is track selected mask forward one frame. Or you can use left or right arrow key. So move forward one frame. Instead of retracing it, you just expand the old mask, so that it fills in a new space. Also you can click the path, to add new points. So again do the same thing. Move forward one frame. And retracing it. So we are basically just go through each frame and adjust the position until we reach the final frame where we've masked out the entire screen. We have done. Now we need to remove the first mask so go to the first keyframe and go back one frame 
and decrease the mask expansion. Now our mask is ready for this effect. Select this clip, and move it one track above. Then select the second clip, and pull it under the track, where the mask is starting. So that's it, now our transitions is ready. And the last step, if you see some back shape anywhere, then just increase the mask expansion, around 5. So that's it, how to do that custom mask transition. I'll see you in the next one, have a good day.